Ask yourself, are you tired of being an unhappy pile of garbage? Do you look at yourself in the mirror and think, My god, why am I a hamster? Don't settle. Demand more. Because you deserve to be the star in your own life. And in others. Dear Simulator, a humble guide to becoming a cult leader. I recently discovered this game on Steam, and I'm not gonna let the opportunity to become a dare pass me by. I mean, a dare is just an animal that gets its antlers stuck in everything combined with the excitement of just standing there. Wrong! This cult learning tool offers a full authentic dare experience. None of that fancy realism. Yeah, just look at it. Standing there with no edges. The sun is always shining, except when it's not. And skills are optional, but they do certainly help. But in all fairness, I'm a dare, so it's not really fair of you to judge my driving skills. <laughs> Don't like antlers? Just replace them with guns. And if you're feeling cute, add machine guns, hand grenades, shotguns, or even laser guns. The owner doesn't mind because you kill them in true dare style. Still need that cherry on top though? How about an elephant as a purse? A cult leader must have a recognizable style after all. However, you quickly learn that actions actually do have consequences. And some fashion statements are just frowned upon in society. But going to jail equals having to make a shiv out of a bar of soap and I failed art to craft so that's just not gonna end well. So the only solution to the problem is to create a cult. You can do this by talking to people in a friendly tone, or show them your divine power by absolutely dominating your fellow mammals. Your choice. But you must be careful because this game also contains highly elite sheep with a serious case of bone deficiency. They're mostly jello. <laughs> Those fluffers will hunt you down until you help them quit life. But there's an easy way to fix this problem too. Just recruit as many people as possible. Meet Larry, Mayville, Gert, Valda, Newt, and the rest of the congregation. Together, we destroy everything. Everything. Yeah, well that's easier said than done. I tried to dominate a cat in front of people, and I didn't gain any new followers. What, too soon? Don't worry, it's just because you are new to culting. You will get the hang of it eventually, but there are some other things you can try. Let me share a technique I like to call surprise lobotomy. Simply just run up to a person as fast as you can and stab them in the head with the antlers. Where did I get all these antlers? This is not the Q&A portion. This is also highly effective considering your following is a bit trigger happy at times. Okay, now let's recruit. Don't destroy! Don't destroy! Guys! Guys! That's wrong! Guys! Guys! Told you about the good word. You joined. There's no leaving when you join our cult. There you go. We might look aggressive. And we kind of are aggressive, but you're still joining our cult. Come on. Yes. However, sometimes things can get out of hand. And you need to hammer in that you are in charge. If they don't take you seriously being a dare on four legs, just stand up on your hind legs, puff out your chest, and they will respect you for the mighty furry you are. And if they don't, go back to the lobotomy tactic. It has a surprisingly high success rate. Remember, it is important to lead by example and show them what you want from them. This is surprisingly satisfying, destroying everything. Because abiding by the law of nature, you are not on top of the food chain. Does this bother you in any way? I don't think he cares that much. Oh, oh, you might care a little. Oh, he definitely cares! <laughs> no, I'm sorry! <laughs> oh my god! Lack 
like I said, you are going to need high numbers to take down any challenge in your way. Like when I had to fight off the very angry laser shooting koala with Amnesia. If his lasers touches you even one time, there will be fresh air burgers for all. You got it! Yeah, you got it! Stretch! And stretch! And stretch again! And dance! Yes. As a good cult leader, you need to make time for breaks with some light exercise. Because we don't want HR breathing down our neck now, do we, Steve? Steve won't make it far in this cult. And putting on a show pretending that you care about your artificial feelings keeps your love and loyalty for you strong. Okay, let's find some more people. Oh, you're destroying everything. I love you guys! Keep it up, you're doing great! The police is coming! Public display of torture works wonders too. Why are you standing there in the corner? Well, that's what happens when you try to not join. Yeah, yeah. Well, you should have joined us then. That's on you, quite frankly. One time I took a break to introduce myself to the locals. I played a game with a cow and when that cow made me feel stupid for not getting the game, I also introduced him to my horde. <laughs> and that was kind of a win-win because you need to feed your following too. <laughs> In my vast culting experience, your following will always be very needy and can get in the way because they love you so much. Ma! Mommy! Ma! Mommy! Ma! 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 If you need to take a short break from your following, that is okay. I suggest going for a relaxing ride on a tuna fish. Do you need to get somewhere fast, but you're too tired from using your face as a grappling hook, destroying all your vertebrates in the process? Then the game has you covered! Hook your antlers onto a car and sit back for a rejuvenating car ride, while the NPCs do all the work for you. Have you traveled too far away? Don't worry, your following will always find you eventually. If you can't see them, you can definitely hear them. Yay! Now that you're on top of the food chain, you can all live peacefully together. Or do what I did and sacrifice them one by one to be the sole ruler of the world. Ah, silence. Because dares like to grass in peace. But wait, won't you be lonely? I'm a dare that can do this with my head. How can I possibly stop being entertained? <laughs> now go out there and get your own cult. Because why should you require more from yourself when you can just require it from others? But please remember to do so with social distancing because of the virus. And thank you for watching this edition of Culting 101. If you would like to get yourself some Banshee merch, you can find me on Redbubble and on Teespring. And if you would like to support me extra, I have a Patreon. There you will get early access to videos, Art before everyone else. Um, sometimes I blog and I write about other weird thoughts and things. Yeah. And now you also get access to the Banshee Files. It is almost unedited, let's place. I will deeply appreciate it, but please don't feel 
obligated to do so. I honestly just appreciate you watching my videos. Thank you for being in my Banshee army. I hope you have a great day.